If you're gonna put in all that work to submit an R01 to the NIH, you wanna make sure that you are giving yourself the best possible chance that it gets funded. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the five keys that you need to make sure that you have in every single grant application that you submit. I'm Sarah Dobson, I'm a grant writing expert, and I help early career researchers write show-stopping, outstanding grant proposals to the NIH. And I do that by teaching them the tools and techniques and strategies they need to write really competitive, fundable applications. All right, so in this video, we are gonna talk about those five keys that you need to have in your R01 application. So, number one, you need to have a strategy. And the reason that we start with strategy is to avoid wasting your own time. You wanna make sure that you are eligible for the funding opportunity announcement. You wanna make sure also that your project is going to be interesting and appealing to the institute that you're targeting for funding. Uh, and you want to make sure that you have a good chance uh, of, of getting that project funded. So you need to start with strategy to make sure that you have those in place before you even start writing. And we're gonna talk about that in more detail in a future video, but for now, just know that strategy helps you to avoid wasting your own time. Number two, you need a writing plan. You need to have a plan to execute your writing. This is not something that can happen at the last minute, although I do see that pretty often in my work, is researchers just dropping everything and binge writing over uh, the course of a few weeks to get an application out the door. And it usually means that their application is not that great. So if you have a plan and a schedule that you can follow and write over a series of months rather than weeks, you are going to end up with a much, much stronger proposal because you'll have the time and space to really think about what is required. Number three, you have to have an argument. You need to make sure that you are justifying why your research needs to be done and why you are the one to do it. And this is something, again, that I see as a mistake a lot in the work that I do is uh, PIs relying on the quality of their idea, of their uh, approach. And absolutely, you need to have a strong research idea and a strong approach, but that is just the beginning. You need to have an argument for why your work matters. And again, this is something that we'll go into in depth in future videos, but for now, just know that this is one of the most important components of your application. Number four, you need feedback. Do not ever, ever, ever submit a grant application, particularly something as huge as an R01, without any kind of feedback. There are lots of sources of feedback uh, and there are different times in your uh, grant writing process where you're going to need feedback. And again, that's something that we're gonna talk about in a future video, but for now, just know that that is one of those key components that you need uh, is really good feedback, targeted feedback on specific areas of your application. Last, you need to pivot. So because the funding landscape is so challenging, because the success rate is 20% and lower for uh, most uh, funding agencies, the NIH included, you need to make sure that you have a plan to take that information that you get from your peer review and use it to either reapply as a resubmission or uh, pivot and submit to another agency. So you need to know how, uh, what to look for in your summary statement and your uh, peer review feedback. Uh, and you need to know how to implement that um, to improve your application for next time. So let's review those five keys again. First, you need a strategy. Next, you need a plan. Next, you need an argument. Next, you need feedback and then you need to pivot. So in the next video, we're gonna be talking specifically about strategy and what specific strategies you can use to uh, prepare a stronger R01. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe so that you are getting future videos in this series and do watch that uh, strategy video so that you know what to do in terms of your strategy. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.